Hello and welcome to Yotta's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making my pasticcio. Uh, in this pasticcio, the ingredients are three pounds of chopped meat, one uh, 28 ounce can of petite diced uh, tomatoes, three tablespoons of tomato paste, half a cup of hot water, spoons of tomato paste, half a cup of hot water, although I don't know if it's hot anymore, I'm going to have to uh, put some hot water in there, a third of a cup of olive oil, uh, four minced cloves garlic, uh, it's a little bit over uh, a tablespoon, and then uh, two cups of very finely diced, onion. also adding to the sauce, two tablespoons of oregano, uh, one teaspoon of salt, and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm also going to be adding uh, one cup of uh, kefalotiri, excuse me, I don't have kefalotiri, this is parmigiano reggiano. Um, the sharpness is almost similar, but they're two different cheeses, but because I couldn't get kefalotiri up here, I'm using the parmigiano reggiano. And I'm also going to be putting in two sticks of cinnamon in the uh, sauce, the meat sauce. You can put one in if you want, or you can omit it if you don't want. And then I have some nutmeg. So this is what nutmeg, whole nutmeg looks like. It looks like a little shell. And I'm going to be grating that in there with my little grater, as you see right here. And um, for the sauce that's going to go on top of the pasticcio, once I have everything layered, is I'm going to be making it with six cups of milk, one cup of flour, I'm going to be putting some nutmeg in there, some butter, because that's how I'm going to start the roux, and then I'm going to add a little kefalotiri in that mixture, as well as salt and pepper uh, for taste. So I will come back when I'm on the next step. Thank you for watching. Yotas. I just added the onions to the pan and I'm going to just saute them until they're translucent. And once they're a little translucent, I'm going to add the garlic and then I'm going to add the chopped meat and I'm going to cook it for a little bit until there's no more pink in the ground beef. And then I will come back and I'll show you that next step. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Yota's Kitchen. So I just uh, made sure that there's no more red in the meat, which I checked and there doesn't appear to be any left. Um, and again, like I said, just keep making sure that there's no big lumps in there by doing something like this. Okay, so I'm going to add the rest of my oregano and the salt and pepper to this dish. I am going to mix it well to make sure that it's incorporated evenly. But you're going to be stirring this as you go. So uh, you're going to be uh, getting there, getting that all even. So here is my tomato paste. I diluted it with a half a cup of water. And this is what it looks like now. Let's make sure you get all of it. There you go. And I'm going to have to stir it in a little bit before I add my petite diced tomato. Okay. My tomatoes, my diced tomatoes. The two sticks of cinnamon in there. Just gonna find two spots and I'm gonna stick it in there. And then and then I'm gonna grate my nutmeg. There it is. You can use also ground nutmeg, you don't have to do this but you see what the nutmeg looks like inside. Now when I taste it in a little bit, if I feel that I need a little more nutmeg, I will definitely add it. 
So lower the heat because you don't want anything burning. And it smells, the nutmeg really smells good so far. Stir all that in. Okay, and then I'm going to add the cover to this. And I'm just going to let it cook slowly for probably about an hour. I want all of it to incorporate and to um, make a room for the, um, for the bechamel sauce. Um, and my stick of butter has melted. And I'm just going to put in, in about half a cup of flour. I don't want to put all of it together because if it becomes too thick, um, it's not going to be good. So what I'm going to start out with is just putting in half of the flour. And I'm going to mix it in with the butter really well. I want to make a roux. So as it thickens up, as you can see, it has thickened up. So that means that I can add the milk to this. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the milk. Close reach. Oops. And of course I just made a big mess. But I'm the one that's cleaning it up, so I guess it doesn't matter. So the bechamel sauce is just the flour, the butter, and salt, pepper, a little nutmeg. So I'm going to let this thicken up. I just tasted my bechamel sauce. Bechamel sauce. And it needed a little more salt, so I added it. And I believe that the nutmeg in there, I need a little more. But I wanted to show you the consistency. So that way when you're making it, you know exactly the consistency that you need. So this is ready. I'm going to just turn it off from the heat. I'm going to add a little more nutmeg. And then I am going to be ready to assemble everything. Just want to add... So that's ready to go and I'm just going to stir it in. There you go. And it continues to cook because it's still on the, um, on the burner even though I turned the burner off, which is fine. So let me bring everything together and I will assemble it. Hello and welcome back to Yota's Kitchen. I put the first layer of macaroni or the penne on the bottom and then I'm gonna get ready to put in my meat sauce um, so the meat sauce I had show, showed it to you as I was cooking it so I'm just gonna pick it up so I'm just gonna take out the cinnamon sticks I don't need them and I am going to continue Put the meat in there. Now there's not a lot of sauce in here because you want it com compact. And the reason you want it compact is because when you put the bechamel sauce on it, you don't want it to go through. Okay, so here's my grated cheese that I had grated earlier. Okay, that looks great so far. And then I am going to take a little more and I'm going to grate it in my bechamel, which I have right here. I'm just going to move it. So I'm just going to put a little cheese in there just so that way this has a little more flavor too. 
Oh, uh, probably about a half a cup. So one and a half cups went on top of the uh, penne, and a half a cup is inside of the bechamel sauce. Going to stir that up a little bit. Now, of course, if you want the bechamel sauce a little thicker, you can add a little more. Um, you can add a little more milk or a little more flour. So just continue to add it like this until the whole top is totally covered. 350, 45 minutes. When 45 minutes are up, if the top layer of this bechamel sauce is nice and golden brown, it's ready to come out. If it's not, let it in, leave it in for a few more minutes. So I will see you in 45 minutes. Thank you for watching Yota's Kitchen. Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. So here's my pasticcio. I just took it out of the oven. It's nice and golden, um, especially around the edges. Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. I'm getting ready to cut my pasticcio. Uh, it's been cooling for about 15 minutes. And I'm just going to find the center. And then I'm just going to cut it. Okay. Now the first piece never comes out uh, very easy. So I'm going to hope that uh, this is not the case with me. I'm going to score it around the edges. Make sure that nothing sticks, and then I'm gonna do my best to take out one whole piece. Ah, uh, almost. So here it is. Doesn't that look fantastic?